Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Toes of History. I'm your bartender, Jared, as always, and I'm here to serve you up a pint of history. Now that's good history. Today, my guest is Lyndon B. Johnson, LBJ. Now, what do we know about LBJ? What does pop culture tell us about LBJ? They say LBJ, you've seen him being sworn in on Air Force One, and that, that that's what we know. That that's what that's what they tell us about him. We we know we know the alphabet. JFK leads the LBJ, and then we stop. Well, I'm telling you today. Today you're gonna get a lot more than letters on this show. It's his birthday today, and I'm gonna tell you what you don't know about LBJ. Lyndon B. Johnson was the 36th president of the United States. He was the vice president of JFK. He was a U.S. House of Representative from Texas. He was a U.S. Senator from Texas, also being the Senate Majority Leader, the Senate Minority Leader, the Chair of the Senate Democratic Caucus, the Senate Majority Whip, which is the assistant to the Senate Majority Leader, he served in the U.S. Navy, his highest rank, commander. He is one of only four people to be a senator, a representative, a majority leader, a vice president, and president. The only other three are John Tyler, Andrew Johnson, and Richard Nixon. Now, Lyndon B. Johnson is a true rags-to-riches story. Now, he was a fourth-generation rancher. He has to work through school by teaching classes to pay for the class he's taking to get through college. Then his first job out, he gets in charge of this Mexican poverty community school. So, while he's there, though, there are five teachers with him. He is the teaching leader. He is the playground supervisor. He's the boys' baseball coach. He's the debate coach, as well as the janitor. This man is running everything, but own, doing everything but owning the building at this point. It's like, who do we see about it? Probably that guy. He's doing all the work. He gets involved in politics at a young age because his dad is a politician as well. Now, he's just doing local stuff. He's the state representative for Texas. Now, he later, he serves in World War II. Now, he was a congressman at the time, but Pearl Harbor gets struck. Three days later, he signs up to do his duty, too. Now, we know we don't want our politicians in harm's way. So, yes, he signs up, but they give him a specific duty as not to get hurt, where he's an observer. Now, some of these observing missions, he's observing bombing missions. Now, he's under General MacArthur. But he has to go into some of these high attack zones in order to observe. So a couple times, he gets into really thick combat. One of them, his plane gets struck. So at the end, he doesn't really see any military action himself, but he's been shot at. So he gets, from MacArthur, the Silver Star. This man meets his wife, Claudia, on their first date he asked Claudia to marry him. Less than a year later, they're married. And later they have two daughters. Man knows what he likes, and when he knows what he likes, he goes full speed ahead, and he's going to get it, people. Lyndon B. Johnson, outside the presidency, is a very successful politician. He's part of the House of Representatives. He's been a part of the Senate. He's been a majority leader. He's been a minority leader. He's been the charge the caucus. He, when he sets his mind to something, gets the job done. But that also comes at a price. The man works 20-hour days. The man smokes 60 cigarettes a day. 
literally. The man works himself almost to death. And some people, when we will get to it later, says that probably what caused him, he did work himself to death. Before it, before he might not even become president because he has a heart attack. He has a heart attack. He's in the hospital. He's in the bed. He just had a heart attack. They were fixing him up, and he tells his aide to bring his stuff in. So he has a table set up next to his bed so he can send in news to work on his stuff while he's in bed. No sitting there watching talk shows for LBJ. Man's still working. Man just had a heart attack, and he's still like, I don't have time to have a heart attack. I don't have time to take a break. Where's my cigarette at? Like, dude, no matter what you say bad about this guy, you can't say the man was not a hard worker. This man becomes the youngest Democrat majority leader at the age of 46. Lyndon, Lyndon, Lyndon. Get your hard worker. I respect you for that. You just had a heart attack in your hospital bed. Take a 30. Take a lunch. Take an hour. Take a break, man. Now, when we go and start talking about Johnson's presidency, we can't get around it. We have to talk JFK for a minute. JFK is in Dallas. If you haven't seen my episode on JFK, check it out for more info. But he's in Dallas. He's riding in a car. LBJ and his wife are riding in the car behind them. And, as we all know, Kennedy gets shot. Four people enter Air Force One. Lyndon B. Johnson, his wife Lady Bird, Jacqueline Kennedy, and the deceased John F. Kennedy. He's the first president ever sworn in on a plane. He was also sworn in by a woman. First president to be sworn in by a woman. And on Air Force One, two hours and eight minutes after the assassination, he is sworn in as the president of the United States. Now, Lyndon B. Johnson wanted to be president, but he did not want to be this way. So he started right off the bat by trying to fill in the big shoes of Kennedy and start off with the civil rights program because that's what Kennedy was pushing. This man is the first president that put an African-American as part of his cabinet. Now, eventually, he runs for re-election and he wins by a landslide. And as in everything else he does... When he has a goal, he goes 100%. You thought he worked hard when he was a janitor and a teacher at school or when he was a congressman? Those 20 hours a day didn't stop. No matter how much the White House staff did not want to work the 20 hours, plus on the weekends too, this man was always going. This man put in his policies that he called the great society programs these part of these programs were anti-poverty programs this man in six years cuts poverty in half no no listen cuts poverty mean everybody all poverty cuts it in half whoo That's an undertaking. He puts in Medicaid, Medicare, environmental programs, consumer protection laws, education funding, PBS, National Public Radio, food stamps, Head Start. All these programs to help people who needed to get back on their feet, help America come into one. He had won the job of bettering America. You say the only person that outworked you probably was FDR. And looking at all our presidents, you know what? That's good company to be with. Some fun facts not in your history book about LBJ. LBJ, you should remember that. Because his whole family has the same initials. Both his daughters, same initials. 
he nicknamed his wife Lady Bird. L-B-J, Lady Bird Johnson. Yeah, it happened. This man was known for brash tactics. The man was six foot two. He towered over most of the people. So he was a very in-your-face, hey, how's it going? It was called the Johnson Treatment. He used it as an intimidation factor. He used it as a humorous factor. He was brash, humorous, and charismatic all at the same time. He would skinny dip at meetings. This man would use crude humor. He would burp loudly. This man was a man's man, baby. Man's man. Man. LBJ, man. He would not be good in the fluffy society we had today. He would be a very offensive, not get a lot of votes, get a lot of hate speech. So let's go over the scorecard. We were stubborn. Determined. Did things your own way. Didn't compromise. Used brash tactics. And were considered offensive by a good sum of people. Now where does that ring a bell? I can't put my finger on it. No, 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 no. We're not going there. We're not going there. Cut it, cut it. Cut it right now. This man's first lady, as I said, named him her Ladybird. He put her on the campaign trail in his first re-election. She had her own train. She would go from town to town, pass out buttons and her famous pecan pie recipe. I would love to taste some LBJ Pecan pie. Love it. Love it. A toast to LBJ. Most times we recognize him today is taking over for JFK and the Vietnam War. This man stepped into JFK's shoes. This man passed over 200 laws, cut poverty in half, 20 hours a day, for six years, weekends included. How many of you work for 20 hours a day, weekends included? This man put in for the American people. He put in for the government. He did everything he could to be the best he can be. How can we ask more? We could not ask more than this man gave. To Lyndon B. Johnson, to LBJ, thank you for your service. Thank you for all the programs that we still have today. And every one of you, all those programs, if you have been a part of any of those programs, you should thank this man. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Oh, now that's good history.